Hola, buenos días. Uh, bienvenidos en canal. Yes, still here in Mallorca. Right, so what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to send a squid bait out on a running ledger with a 5 0 hook just to see what happens. And then on another rod, I'm going to have a go at using a top water lure to see if there's any barracuda around. Don't know what this will attract the squid, it's just worth a go. So anyway, that's where we're at. Um, when the light turns, I'll probably try with the uh, LRF stuff again as well. Um, see what's around there as well. See if there's any of them bream or anything like that. Anyway, I saw some of us, we like it all. Right, so I got the Popchenko. Gonna give that a bit of a bounce around out there. Let's see if we can get a cooter. Normal cooter. Right guys, I've been throwing the lure now for about an hour. It's now 6 a.m. It's not doing this thing as yet. <laughs> but I guess that is lure fishing. It's uh yeah, quite tiring. So uh I think we've probably got about another half an hour before the sun starts coming up. And maybe that's maybe where the uh, action could happen, just that change of light. So, I'll keep going, keep trying. I've brought in squid bait once, didn't have any attention on it at all. Nothing happened to it. Um, anyway, so I'll keep plugging away, no pun intended. And uh dollars not about to dig with. Right guys, another half an hour gone. Light is starting to change now. Another angler has just turned up over there. I think I seen him yesterday. I was on my run yesterday morning and I seen him. Um, he said no barracuda yesterday, but obviously he's got hopes and he's back. Uh, anyway, keep trying and keep trying and then when the light is fully up, I'll start putting some baits on the water bottom and maybe and, uh, try the other rest of normal could do.
so I've been told is with this popping lure, leave it there for a bit and then start leaving. I can hear it on the surface over there. Well guys, blank saved a moray eel and it's twisted itself around itself there so you can't really see, it's not a big one but uh, anyway, it's a fish God, it's warm, it's really warm Look at that guys Ridiculous how it's just twisted itself around. Come on, untwist yourself so I can see you properly. There we go. Oh. <laughs> 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 Look at it. Oh, he's done it again. There we go, guys. It's just twisted itself around. Look at that. Let's even get a picture of that and get it back. That was, of course, on the squid bait on the bottom. Yes, guys! <laughs> Blank saved. Well, guys, that's a turnout. Ah, first one of them I've ever, ever caught. Um, and he got me. Look at that. I hope they're not dangerous. Get that sorted in a bit. Anyway, let's get another squid bait out there and see what else we can get. No, no, Yes! <laughs> Blank saved. Right, guys. As I was spinning there now or using the colour, I just noticed this rod here bounced a little bit. The last one, I seen it bounce and then it did actually take some line. So, here we go. Let's have a look. And, yeah, something is taking an interest on this bait here. Fish on, guys. Fish on. What is this? Oh my word. Look at that. That's a cracking fish. That's a beauty. Don't know what it is. But it likes the squid. <laughs> Not trusting any of these fish anymore. There we go, guys. Look at that. It's kind of got a look of a grouper on it. But I don't know. Let's get a photo. And let's get it released. Right, tight liners. So from 
my list of fish here, I think that that last fish I caught was this one here. And according to this, it's called a Mero. Um, and it has to be 45 centimeters to keep. And that definitely wasn't 45 centimeters. So, uh, two fish, two different species again. So, uh, yeah, well happy. Still nothing on the uh, on the lure though. I'd be really happy if I could get something on the lure. So I'm going to keep trying and see what happens. It's now quarter past seven in the morning. Right, normal cuddy. Right, tight liners. It's been a long time throwing that lure, so I'm going to have a bit of a rest. I'm going to go back, LRF, a little bit of prawn on the bottom one, a little bit of squid on the top one, and we'll see if there's anything around. I'm going to put it down by the side of the breakwater here. If you remember the other day, fishing here, I got those little bream, an ornate wrasse and some of the little fish that have been one of us at the time. So, then Both baits gone. Let's try again. Right guys, so with the LRF stuff I was getting lots of little bites, I just couldn't hook them. Um, so what I've done now is I've just put slightly bigger baits on, on bigger hooks and sent it out a little bit further along the side of the breakwater. Um, two prawn baits, all the squid's gone now. Uh, just see what happens. Um, if you do like what you see, guys, please, please, please give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down the bottom of the screen. It means a massive deal to me. Only about 59 short now of that magical 1,000. That would be incredible to happen. Like I've said, um, never expected that to happen within the first year so please hit the subscribe hit the like and if you haven't watched once before now watch the others and like them too guys your support is much appreciated thank you for everything right guys end of session there not a bad session two fish more eel, that was exciting, did get me, left a bit of a cut on my finger, bled for a bit, but anyway, that's no problem. And another fish, um, yeah, it was a nice fish to see. So, a few different species out here in Mallorca, this is our last day here today, so this is probably going to be the last session here. So, uh, from a very terrible enjoying trip to Mallorca, guys, plan the next trip now for when we get back. 
So until then, keep your lines tight.